commodity traders such as Noble play a vital role in the commodity space. They are like DHL or FedEx. They deliver commodities and they are absolutely important to the sanctity of the commodity market and as far as commodities are going to exist, these companies will have value. Noble in particular has fallen 49% from its 10-year price to book average. And at this juncture, it presents a considerable value in our view. Okay, well, I'm sure you're aware of a, a, well, of a report and then a counter lawsuit from Noble Group in, in recent weeks. Uh, you know, we have Iceberg coming out with an, an attack on Noble Group saying that there are accounting irregularities at this commodity trading house and you can't believe the numbers. Well, even if you take some of these allegations uh, to heart, you would see great value in Noble because even if you uh, net off uh, some of the positions that they've taken, there is considerable cash flow generation in this company and in this sector. Uh, the accounting standards apply not only to Noble but to other commodity traders. Hence, I would not be deterred by these allegations. Okay, you would not be deterred. What about the uh, tumbling commodity pricing then? Is, wouldn't you say that the, um, you know, the future for these commodity trading houses looks pretty bleak? It's not just oil prices that have come down a whole long way. It's, you, know, you, you name it really across the board. There isn't much take up in commodity use right now. Uh, commodities are vital for the sanctity of the world economy, despite the fact that both agricultural and industrial commodity prices have fallen, we are facing a 20-year bull market in commodity prices, and ups and downs, as we've experienced, are only temporary. Basically, there is a structural shortage of a number of commodities, including oil and the agricultural commodities, and I would be bullish on commodity prices rallying from these red levels. Okay, when? Because you've been calling that for a year and it hasn't really happened. Uh, we expect uh, an improvement in commodity prices over the next 18 months. Okay, and what, what do you think will, will come back, I guess, fastest? Uh, what would you be bullish on specifically? Uh, well, I would be bullish on oil as well as the agricultural commodities. Uh, the commodities that have fallen more dramatically than oil, such as corn, wheat and soybeans, are likely to see a structural upsurge because of the rise in consumption levels in the emerging markets of Asia, particularly China and India. In these countries, more and more people are entering the consuming classes, entering the middle class see much more consumption at the bottom of the pyramid. Hence, there would be a very strong demand for say, things like corn, wheat, and soybeans. Yeah, okay, but it just seems like the pricing is not reflecting that bullish demand as you've uh, highlighted for us, Nurganan. Uh, so doesn't it also call for a consolidation then am amongst these commodity trading houses? If Noble Group's down 49%, doesn't it make it a takeover target? It certainly would attract a lot of attention from people who are being opportunistic. There are other commodity traders that have huge cash piles who would look at Noble and other commodity traders that have fallen more dramatically in price uh, as a very useful opportunity. Therefore, one can look at uh, possibilities of, of uh, consolidation as a very likely outcome. Okay, between who? I mean, if you were to put some money on it, you know, would Olam be in the mix? Would Noble be out there? Or, you know, um, you tell me. Well, uh, a number of these companies have over three to four billion dollars uh, as cash reserves. Uh, I wouldn't want to name a single uh, acquisition party, but there are a number of people out there who have the wherewithal to acquire a beaten down commodity trader.